and we're back everyone we're back for another wonderful week in london i mean it's not a full week it's just a video but i think you know what i'm talking about um i'm daniel and i'm julia and this time we're going to be talking about let's see my neighbor totoro oh that's like my childhood come to life right there we went to see the play at the barbican yes which is why Barbican is, well, I kind of shoved it on the other one. But this is the V&A, a little map up here. I'm just bouncing around, but it's the Victorian Albert Museum. This is the Natural History Museum, and we didn't have a map for Covent Garden. So. Covenant Garden Co Covenant Garden doesn't really have a no, map. No, it doesn't really. It wouldn't make sense. these things are kind of what we did in the heart of, of London when you think what is London it's like it's it the the beating heart these are the things that yeah, we kind we, of we did. have to kind of represent the um, we're not talking about geographically we mean the things that mean the most London things uh, so we saw a show we went to their most popular museum I think you get the idea these things aren't near each other for those who want a map uh, no uh, so let's move on uh, this is Covent Garden Market. Uh, and see, there's a map here. I should have added that together. Oh, well. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It, yeah. it, we didn't have a physical, there was no physical map yeah, to nobody's give out. handing out brochures there because it's a market. It's a, it's a, it's a giant marketplace and we went both, we went, uh, we went a couple times, one in the day and one, one. And it's bustling. It's really hard to get pictures when people are elbow deep. Um, yeah. There's the street performers, and they don't like people taking their picture unless, like, they get a good tip. So you don't want to be a jerk and not tip them, but I'm cheap. So these are pictures <laughs> that I snuck in the morning before anything was set up. Um, but, of course, still kind of the Christmas season. Well, yeah, everything's so decorated. Everything's but still all pretty like and decorated. This is, like, the original centuries-old rules of Covent Garden thought that was kind of cool. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And uh, I want to point out this right here. It looks like this is below, because it absolutely is. But I'm at ground level, looking down into a dugout kind of subway level area. Not tube subway, just like subterranean. And this is me looking over that balcony at the shops. You might notice Punch and Judy. You cannot buy dolls there. You buy alcohol. Um, there, there is a store <laughs> that sells um, marionettes. Yes, and um, of course there were some Punch and Judy marionettes. Right, but whoo, pricey, 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 and not pricey. At Punch and Judy, but That's not a store at actually goes, Punch right. and Judy. <laughs> Don't be confused; they'll think you're drunk. Which um, they yes. had other fun toys, and we did ask if we could take a picture of the toys and they asked us to not so they're like that's, after you buy them after right. you buy I them mean, you can take pictures so so we respected that and and didn't but they were very kind they let us kind of touch and play, play with yeah. a little bit they had they postcards were, that turned into theaters you could unfold them mm -hmm. very cool stuff lots of kids just ooing and awing over everything their store was on the second floor so it was a narrow staircase up Cool store, narrow staircase back down. Um, very, very. It had a very old London feel to it. And yeah. it's absolutely. This is not a tourist trap. It's a fun thing to do, but it we, gets really bustling there. We didn't. We didn't actually spend a, a penny, or excuse me, a pence. No, yeah, pence. Yeah, that, pence that was the there. Currency um, of the day. Uh, because yeah, it was pricey. Even the food was pretty pricey, but. There's, like, places to eat nearby that, right. you know, you don't have to eat there. And I want to just point out that right next door to Covent Garden is the, uh, this is called Jubilee. Yeah, you might have seen it because I flipped ahead. But Jubilee Market is right next to it, and it's cheaper. It's much, much cheaper. But they're, they kind of reminded me, for the Hawaii folks, of an indoor... Um, uh, the state, you know, the stadium, flea market, sure. uh, you know, um, and so it, it's lots of vendors. You had the some swap meet is what you're talking swap about. Swap meet, yeah. 
I almost, <laughs> been, I almost lost that look, word. Look, it's been five <laughs> months for us. We're like, what's Hawaii anymore? <laughs> um, and they had like, you know, some chinzy booths that had, you know, your sure. buy your And then they had London like leather stickers. jackets, half price, you know. Pretty good. Um, pretty good. And they had, there's all kinds of like um, clothing and An food anime vendors. store. Yeah, this is the cheap one. If you want to go hang out, go see the cool stuff at Covent Garden. You're going to buy stuff. Come over here. Uh, to Jubilee Market Hall. They're right next door to each other. Uh, there's not even a real street in between them. All right. I think we covered that pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we covered that well. Well, then next let's... Next uh... adventure. <gasps> uh, yeah, so... My neighbor... My neighbor, da, 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 da. We obviously couldn't take pictures of the actual performance for obvious right. reasons. So we got as much of the signage and... Right, and this is the theater. This is the Barbican Center. Um, a little bit about it, shall we? Um, yeah, sure. So go the ahead. Barbican Center has all of the arts there, and there are art students. There's multiple stages. There's orchestral shows. There's uh, art galleries. Um, incredible play. If you're there in the summer, which we were not, um, mm -hmm. you can go wander the gardens, which is really cool. No, we were not there in the summer. In fact, it was snowing on the way there. Um, it was cold. It was and very cold, but they were very kind, the ushers, and they did let us take pictures inside of the theater before the show started. So, yes. of course, we got inside as soon as we could to get yeah, some we were, pictures we, we of were, that. I mean, this is Julia right by the doors. There's no one in line, but yeah. And, of I mean, course, I had to buy a program. Pricey, uh, yes. pricey, but I, I... Royal Shakespeare Company, you know, I mean, you know, fantastic show. And my... Um, Basically, my childhood came to life right in front of my eyes, so it was wonderful. Also, I just want to point out the spelling, right? So, it's got the U, right? And so when you first see it, these this is not a projection screen. These letters are physically there. Yes. And they're on, they're on cords. Mm -hmm. So, we didn't get the 3D look of the picture, but they are. And so this R kind of wobbles away right when it starts, and a U slides in to spell it the British way. Yeah, it's pretty cute. <laughs> it's pretty cute. All right, I'll go back. I'll go back. So, this is, again, one of the entrance spots. They're trying to sell food over here, and I saw the prices. And one of the greatest things, of course, was seeing all of these uh, local British... Japanese actors on stage every and even the puppeteers were all Japanese and they all speak with a British accent it threw us off a which bit. threw me off hearing a Japanese person say vitamins it was just seemed a little unnatural but it was it was lovely it was not great. that we expected to be subtitled <laughs> <laughs> but it was a little, uh, and there is more show than the movie, so they expanded yes. the mother's character. Mm -hmm. Don't want to ruin it for anyone who gets a chance. Absolutely see it. Phenomenal. It did very well with the Olivier's, um, which are the Tonys of London. Okay, I'm going to move on. Shall move, we move on to on? the next event. So the um. Victorian Albert Museum is... <sighs> it's huge. Decorative arts is basically the theme, but that's a pretty wide kind of concept now just a side note we did skip the british museum because oh yeah no. there there was one question that i asked daniel before we went to the victorian albert which was how many of these items in this museum are quote unquote acquired and he says most of these were gifts to the Queen, to Queen right. Victoria, and or and they Albert, were rich and and they bought just them. bought them. Right. So none of these were acquired in any illicit way, and so that's why I'm like, all right, Victorian Albert, it is, as opposed to the sure. other one. The the British, or is what I like to call the World Theft Museum, has a lot a lot of problematic items. I think we know about that history. The Vic Victorian Albert, it does have some things with problematic history, but they really work their best in modern times to fix that. Yes. Um, sending things back. Negotiating doing, right. with the countries um, it came from. And finding where it is if it has an ambiguous history to it. Um, so so I just, okay, so. A little that, bit of history there. Sure. Um, so we have this picture that kind of shows a giant row of ceramics right 
But what if you looked into them? So this is one set, and this goes ceiling high basically. But if you look back here at these, see these? That's another whole row. And these, that's another row because there's so much. In one room. This is just one room. one room, you'll have maybe four or five rows, floor to ceiling of just yeah. stuff. All right, let's show some more. Oh. I oh, love this. I okay, love this another little uh, hey, look, it's Julia. history <laughs> lesson here for you guys. So, in the Bible, when they talk about the um, Satan and his evilness, <laughs> this is probably the guy they were actually referring to. Well, who's this guy? Uh, his name is Caligula, and he was obviously an emperor of Rome, and we all know it was actually the Romans who killed um, Jesus. <laughs> Well, we are on <laughs> tangents today. Anyway, so he was a really bad guy, and a lot of even our modern um, thinking of of uh, sin comes from this guy. So that's well, why what, what I... What's something bad he did? Did he do anything particularly? Oh, uh, you know, wipe, wiped out civilizations. Just for fun, right? Just like for it was fun. Tuesday. And um, those those um, gladiator things were kind of his thing. And oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, and outlawing things like homosexuality and okay, women so in leadership. That oh, was all kind of this guy. This guy. Okay. Well, he he earned this. Then you know, I mean, like I knew that he was a <laughs> schmuck. I just you know, <laughs> so uh, a little bit of history there. Just a little bit. Let's move on because there's a lot more slides. I have to show the Commedia dell'arte. And there's Harlequin. There's a bunch of pictures of this. Um, I'm not saying there were, and there were a lot of little creatures like these. And, you know, I just, I couldn't help myself. What do you want? Uh, so there's a lot. A, a lot. A lot, a lot. And I don't know how many pictures I have of Julia pointing at various things because historian in a historical museum. But look at this. Every one of these has a genie inside. They made sure that they had actual <laughs> genies in every one of yes. these. She has no idea what I'm going to say next. Crazy stuff. Uh, oh, oh, look, it's me. So pointing again. This is uh, this is a pointing to you know this um, beautiful body sculpture that is also resembles me. You know? <laughs> so with the belly oh, and the I'm moving on the here. saggy top and <laughs> so then there is a rotunda randomly. Oh, right. And and it's all full of even more dishes. I know the pictures are glary. Uh, but I wanted to point something out because we're about to switch sections. Um, we do something different in museums, and this is how we get a lot of satisfaction out of it. When we come to a giant museum like this, we never start with the ground floor. We go to the top floor where almost nobody makes it to because if mm -hmm. you can only do half of a museum, you're going to do the... Ground floor and maybe one more up and then you're going to get worn out because this is huge, right? So we do it in reverse. We always start at the top and work our way back down. I'm doing hand gestures, I promise. Um, and the reason is it's calmer up there, it's quiet up there, and it gives us time to kind of look through everything. And then eventually, if we wear out, the floor we miss is the floor that's full of crazy people and we're introverts, so. And also the floor that is going to have things that people can recognize more. They're things that you can Google. Let's Google the and DNA and these are the things that will pop up. So we wanted to get to see the There's stuff. one other thing, not just the VNA, but in a lot of museums, they're cutaways. So if you're on the second floor... Here we call it ground floor. Number one is the second floor. I'm trying to translate uh, my brain. Uh, you can actually look down on the floor below you. So you can still see those exhibits even when you're above them. But the top floor, you can only see if you're there. So, and keep that in mind because I really think that's an easier way to see a museum. All right. On to furniture? On to furniture. That was a lot of spiel. That, yeah, on to furniture. So Lovely just stuff. random pictures of some beautiful, gorgeous furniture that's worth more than anything I own. This is the glass section. Is that me? That is you. I took a picture of that. Um, it's an actual uh, staircase. So the steps are clearly not, it's metal, but the, um, the, rail is the railing glass. Is, is all glass. I mean, it was just glass upon glass. And, and of I'm course... standing on glassy. This is glass over here. Um, and being that everything's glass... This is modern glass up here. 
And uh, at the end of this is a mirror, which is kind of trippy when mm -hmm. you realize how much glass is around you. The older glass is below. And it's, um, it's separated by time period and area of which they were gifted. Nope, so that's the wrong picture. Yeah. Okay, moving out of this, we get random sculpture of girl in corner. Yeah, this was just random. And there was like a sign that was like, touch, but don't, you know, don't be rough with it. It's just to give kids an idea of what kind of sculptures felt like. Back to glass, apparently. That's my bad. Oh, Finally, yeah. we have one that I made, and I'm just like, oh, man, what did I do? This is just glass in kind of... The most ancient, an ancient glass. World. And you this. know me, I love my ancient stuff, she so I certainly had to does. take a picture of it. So, ah. so, remember how I said we didn't start with the first or ground floor? Uh, uh, this is Chihuly right here, this blown glass piece that's coming down. This is the insane lobby. If I were here, this would be really hard to see because people would be, like, bulldozing into me. But it's easy to see up here. If you want a better picture with worse lighting, this is how long it is. It's gigantic. It's absolutely huge, but gorgeous. So I like the lighting in this one. I like the... That's just the full thing. Right. Um, okay, moving on because we still have a lot to see. This is, again, this is on the ground floor. We're standing over a balcony looking down at it. And same thing with this. This is a painting that's just, I don't know, meters across. It, it was almost the entire wall of one of the rooms. Yeah, I mean, it was because crazy. we could tip over and still see the exhibit. See, yeah. Start at the top and work your way down. Mm -hmm. Take notes, everybody. Um, so now we're in the stained glass room because, of course, they have a stained glass room. Oh, the stained glass room was absolutely I'm gorgeous. I'm just trying to give everyone a sense of this is immense. Yes. Um, we can't put all our pictures up, obviously, or we'd be talking for hours. We, right. And but we're trying we got to, the best Oh, we that's could. one of my favorite. Here, here. So Julia is stand, walking along in one room, right? And we leave the room. And we the turn room. the corner, and Julia says... Wow. Like really loud. Like I people mean, turned. <laughs> I didn't these mean people, to say it's these so These people loud. like turned to look at her and I got the picture right after she said it. Because I guess what you thought it was just gonna be Okay, a so the sign said the sign said the silver room. So I'm expecting, you know, like if, if you've been to a museum with there's like jewels and, and things like that. It's kind of, it's it's smaller. It's still a big room, bigger than my bedroom, but it's it's still, you it's know. It's a room. It's a room. And with, then you move on to the next room. Um, displayed. But no, this was, this was. A, a great hall, hall. A great hall. Like, the, of even just the picture silver. on a real camera, you can't see the end. I was, I was stunned. Stunned, and my American mouth just opened, and I was just like, "Yeah, it's still open." Whoa, wowzy! And it just so they, we needed to include. They did this turn around and look at me, but it was more amusement. Yeah, because... it was amused. They, they were all amused. <laughs> like even that guy, he had turned around and he turned back quickly. Like they were all <laughs> shocked by Julie. Okay, okay, that so was, that was... huge museum. Did I mention it was free? Fantastic. Um, and going on to the next Natural free History museum. museum. I promise this is the last big thing of this one before we call it a wrap for this video. <gasps> but, you know, right after New Year's, which is when this is from, uh, there's no school. And Natural History Museum is like a, the biggest, by pop number of people who visit every day, uh, museum in London. And, and, it's and it's gigantic and gigantic. it's free and you can just think who likes to go to natural history museum kids children children lots, love lots them. and lots and, and lots of kids and they don't have any school that day so there was a crazy line the line was literally wrapped around the museum and of course we didn't pre um, no, book any no. tickets because um, why would we it could wrap around the museum but they had a special section where we would Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag yes. for all eternity. So let's go in and try to not take pictures of too many children. So we took a picture up of... Yes. This is my friend. His name is Bill. This is Bill. Say hi, Bill. Hi. <laughs> He's a ple plesiosaur? No, no, not this one. Not no, that just one. Just a whale. That's just a whale. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, we do... That's what Bill said. We do um, take 
some pictures and of course there will be children in it we just don't we desperately post try them to on our video because we just we just don't feel comfortable we posting try children. our best to keep the kids out of the picture yeah. but like but what am i gonna do you can't, you can't help that it. was the most you know <laughs> so anyway this is my favorite kind of dinosaur julie already said it it's a he's a plesiosaur and they put him in a hallway that's really busy so like this guy is completely unimpressed by it. <laughs> but it is a really really cool um, he's just friendly plesiosaur look there's more yeah, of there's them and there's more. more people in the way and my Zorzi. my favorite dinosaur of course is the stegosaurus and we did take a picture but there were tons of kids around no, it so like every photo had elbow kids. bumping and because kids he, trying because to climb even on kids the... like the stegosaurus so gasp yeah yeah so there's a special exhibit couldn't... to wander through that has like all the different dino facts and it's really cool and it's really full of kids so you got to go yes. through slowly through that so spot. we have less pictures of this museum and this so is this is kind of the end shot yeah this here. is our last slide for the slideshow but i just wanted to show you because they do have geology they have all the natural sciences if you're on the ground floor which is not where this is taken from there is a dinosaur right here as if a meteor is coming down to hit him and you would go up the escalator into this magical meteor. The so, escalator was not functioning that yeah, day, that kind of so that was kind. So that's why we we went on the opposite end, right on the second floor, and looked down it. Yeah, this is kind of Earth's fury territory up here on the second, first floor. Oh no, on the floor above ground. Oh no, <laughs> and so we have the planets, and we have the constellations, constellations and yeah. you can see how small people are compared to this is a giant hall and they had great great time there um so <gasps> for huge events um for wonderful days. museums go check them out they're free yep. absolutely and my neighbor totoro wasn't no but my neighbor worth totoro every was not. pence um and so until next time until next time